The women veterans of the Arklatex have been working hard to bring Northwest Louisiana its very own bronze female statue. It will honor women who have served in the military. Now, sadly, the original sculptor passed away while working on this statue, but his mentee, the very man who trained him, stepped in to finish what he started. In tonight's KSLA salutes, he shares with our Miranda Whittington what it's been like to finish this beautiful piece of work. over she'll come in right at six foot. Jerry Jones has spent over a year sculpting a life-size statue of the one he's holding in his hands. I saved the boots for last and because I knew all of the shavings of the clay would be in the boot laces and all of the detail. I knew the boots were going to be eye level and had to be perfect and so I spent the last 25 to 30 hours laying on the floor. That statue will end up in front of the Bossier City Municipal Complex to honor the women who have served in our nation's armed forces. There may be five monuments to women veterans from all five services in our whole United States of America. This is the first one for Louisiana and the first for this whole section of the country. So this is historical. Sandy Franks is an Air Force veteran and the president of the Women Veterans of the Arklatex. For over two years, this group has been working tirelessly to get this statue built. Chapter 30, Disabled American Veterans. We are pleased to present you a check. For $10,000. The total cost of this project is right around $100,000, and so far the group has raised half of the money. But the original sculptor they hired for this project wasn't Jerry Jones, but his mentor, Jerry Gorham. He called and asked uh, January of 18 if I would come over because he was doing chemo and radiation, would I come over and help him complete what he knew was going to be his last commission. Gorham was diagnosed with bone cancer and passed away in March of 2018. After that, Jerry took over the project to make sure it was not just completed for our community, but also for his friend. I actually have used clay from his studio. I, I've used tools that were in his studio, and I've just felt like he's kind of been with me through this, this whole process. Jerry's now dropped off the statue at a foundry in Houston to transform the clay into bronze. There are certain angles that she looks of Asian descent, certain angles that she looks uh, Latino, African American, Caucasian. With more work to be done and money to be raised, by the time the statue is completed, both Sandy and Jerry hope those who see it remember why it's here. I hope they think about that there are daughters, wives, moms, that uh, are out there right now and say a prayer for them and I, 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 that they remember those 100 years from now, 200 years from now, are thankful for the women who stood for our country. Miranda Whittington, KSLA News 12. And the women veterans of the Arklatex still working to raise the last $50,000 to complete the concrete base as well as build the pedestal and the walkway. For that statue. If you would like to help or learn more about the statue, you can find more information right now on the KSLA News 12 mobile app.